let's talk about software construction. That's topic three of software engineering body of knowledge. Software construction is a process of creating of working software by some combination of coding, verification, testing, and debugging. Mostly coding and debugging. So the fundamentals of software construction are uh, the following five things. This is minimizing complexity, always going for the simplest solution and simplest uh, 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 solution on a small level but also on a big level. Always anticipating changes and when you're programming something, thinking about what will happen if you will need to, uh, to change some aspects of it. Uh, constructing for in such a way uh, that it will be possible to test, to verify and to otherwise check how it, uh, uh, that it behaves correctly. Uh, and then writing it in such a way that you can reuse it for perhaps a slightly different uh, task and also reusing uh, other pieces of code that have already been written or uh, entire components or libraries. And sticking to standards when you're using something that uh, uh, other people might also rely on. Uh, management software construction is about uh, you know placing this construction in life cycle models. Uh, uh, so waterfall model, for example, has a very clear stage when construction happens. In other models, uh, it can be distributed over various stages, be iterative, and so forth. Construction planning is uh, uh, that's a choice of method when you say okay I will I will do it agile in a, in a agile way and I will deploy uh, this often and so forth uh, and construction measurement that's basically how how do you uh, uh, how do you see what kind of progress have you made. The practice of software, uh, the practical considerations in uh, software construction are uh, uh, construction design. So, uh, how do you, uh, you know, uh, do some some abstract uh, uh, things like uh, applying design patterns? Um, construction languages. So, do you use programming languages or uh, I don't know, domain specific languages, modeling languages, and whatnot? Uh, well, the actual coding, so uh, turning uh, abstract descriptions of algorithms into uh, machine code or uh, text in a programming language. Uh, testing, um, checking if, if it runs correctly. Construction for reuse or enabling reuse in the future. Construction with reuse, uh, taking uh, libraries and things that have been written before. Uh, quality of construction, so measuring how, how well do you construct something and integrating your newly constructed uh, components into the existing things. There are quite a lot of technologies also even, even in this book and there are tons of uh, other uh, technologies uh, um, besides this. But these are probably indeed the, the most important ones. So it's about API design and usage, application programming uh, interface. It is about object-oriented runtime uh, issues, uh, parameterized types uh, or generics. Uh, it is about you know these defensive programming things with assertions and design by contract. It is about error handling, exception handling, and other forms of fault tolerance. Uh, it's about you know making models executable so that you can you can directly uh, check if the model uh, if, if your system corresponds to the model or the other way around as well uh, then you have some construction techniques that are state based or table driven uh, you always have some runtime configuration and uh, uh, adjustment uh, you have uh, methods for processing the input based on a grammar uh, you have some constructor uh, concurrency primitives middleware uh, systems that are that are distributed, so uh, there they also have their own I don't know, family of uh, uh, construction methods. Uh, heterogeneous systems, uh, performance uh, analysis, prof uh, profiling, uh, standards for for platforms, and you know test first programming. All these things should sound kind of familiar, or they can be googled up. And uh, there are many software construction tools, but the main categories are the uh, uh, in integrated development uh, environments, better known as IDEs, uh, GUI builders, uh, when you kind of build a GUI in an interactive way uh, in, in a visual editor and then uh, some boilerplate code gets generated. 
uh, unit testing tools and then tools for you know providing performance analysis, slicing, and uh, things like this. That's it about software construction.